Hello and welcome back to Automotive Tales from Concourse de la Ordinary to Concourse of Elegance. We're here at Hampton Court uh, Palace, not Hampton Court Castle as we were a few weeks ago, uh, to look at some fabulous cars. So join us uh, as uh, we take a walk around. You probably won't hear much of me talking, which will make somebody else very happy, uh, but you're going to see lots of very lovely cars. So let's go. So one of my favourites of the show so far is this Bentley Continental R-Type in a very well-used condition. Uh, it's got some beautiful patina, a true gentleman's express. four and a half litre Le Mans Bentley from 1928. This one restored to within an inch of its life. It sounds like the owners still use it on a regular occasion. Heading off to New Zealand next year to be driven over there. Ah, Mr. Bond, Mr. Bentley, Mr. Aston Martin. Uh, no, it's a uh, 918 Spider. We all love a lovely old Peugeot 504. Have you ever seen a 504 shooting brake? How amazing is that?
So what followed the Kunta? What came before it, I should say? Yes, I understood you meant. It was 1971, that beginning of your NSP, brought to us by the Lake House Convention. Now, if you were a rock star in the late 60s or early 70s, there's only one car you had to have. Something a little bit different from 1908. We had the direct SS Corsa presented by Stefan Durak, beautifully driven Stefan. You don't have to come on now. This 1955 250 GT Europa Coupe was uh, originally owned by an Italian. Uh, he was he specced it uh, from new with some interesting features. Um, he was the importer for various exotic materials and things into Italy, such as Moet Champagne from France, Connolly leather, uh, and whiskies from Scotland. But the car ended up in LA where it was found in a barn a few years ago, has been fully mechanically restored, but has been left with this absolutely stunning patina. The owner drove it for the first time today, after, after being restored in LA. It's the first time he's actually properly got behind the wheel of it. So next time, ladies and gentlemen, we have this fabulous 1953 Bristol 404 Coupe prototype, uh, presented by Nicholas Gatehouse. By the end of the war, the uniform of the television from this aeroplane company was ready for serious production. And by the autumn of 1946, most of the journals carried great tests. Here it is. It tends to keep it in the UK, so I'm sure it will be seen around and about. But just look at the patina. The body, straight as a die, not a dent on it, but just beautifully faded and yet despite the state of the bodywork you can just about make out the headliner which looks like it was fitted yesterday and is still the original it's clearly stored somewhere dry but outside a lot of heat you can see all the rubber has perished really badly but look at this the rear tail lights now show almost completely white because they faded in the sun 
Isn't that something? Right, well that's it for another little wander around this wonderful event at Hampton Court Palace. Look, you can still see some of the beautiful cars in the background. I hope you've enjoyed this little wander around and a bit of a break from me chatting on camera, although I did do some, sorry. Um, but yeah, that's it. Join us next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.